How you doing? Michael Boyle coming to you for Golf Digest. Wanted to talk a little bit about developing hip mobility for golfers. The number one thing when we develop hip mobility is we've got to realize it's at least a two-part sequence, if not a three-part sequence. Part one, foam rolling. You've got to get the, the kinks out, the knots out, in order to be able to stretch, in order to have an opportunity to develop some hip mobility. So you've got to think, start rolling the hips when you're sitting to get at those hip external rotators to really get at your glutes, you want to be able to cross your sitting on the glute of the cross leg. We won't spend a whole lot of time talking about foam rolling, but foam rolling is going to be first. Secondarily, when we start talking about hip mobility, we've got to realize that we want to work on hip flexors, hip adductors, hip rotators, hamstrings. So if we start talking about hip flexors, I love the stationary Spider-Man stretch. So we get ourselves in a push-up position, step up outside this hand, drop that back knee down, I like to squeeze hard on that backside glute. I want to think about getting some contraction on my backside glute. I'm trying to get straight from my knee through my hip up to my chest. And if anything, I'd like to actually get a little bit of extension through there. So this is going to be really important. Obviously, when we're switching, we're just getting back to push up. We're going back to the other side. That's going to get hip flexors and actually it's going to get some adductors, some groin on the other side. For hip rotators, I love my friend Nao Sakata from Japan came out with this flex cushion idea, which he actually developed for sumo wrestlers. It is incredibly cool in terms of making stretching better. Um, we modify sort of our pigeon stretch in yoga with the flex cushion. What I usually tell people is, if you think about being on all fours and then getting that leg crossed underneath, again, if you're not real mobile, the flex cushion really allows you to have that opportunity to get in. And then here, again, I like to sit up really tall. We're trying to feel for a stretch in the glute that's up on the flex cushion here. Some people will like to lay down. I don't feel that one as much. You've got to make sure this back leg is extended and actually a little bit to the inside coming across behind you. Flex cushion lets you get adductors too. So adductors, we're thinking about groin, inner thigh. We want to be able to sit here. You'd ideally like to be able to get to at least 90 degrees in this position. Sit tall, chest up. So if I'm leaning, I'm thinking that I'm leaning from my hips. The nice thing about the flex cushion is it makes you go downhill. So naturally, if I just sit on this flex cushion like this, I'm getting stretch up into my groin, in my adductor musculature, my inner thigh musculature. Last one, standing hamstring. Lots of people think that hamstrings, you know, they think about this kind of stuff. Don't worry about that. Your hamstrings don't connect to your spine. They connect to your pelvis. We want to be tall. This toe has to be straight up. If you could see this bottom foot here underneath, it's going to be straight ahead. So this foot straight ahead, this foot straight up. And then all I want to work on, I like the idea of kind of opening and closing a gate. So I've got to be able to move my pelvis against my fixed femur. As soon as you start to get that, you're going to be like, oh my god, I really feel that in my lateral hamstring up into my glute. So if we're thinking hip mobility for golfers, Roll and stretch, roll first, stretch second. When we're stretching, we've got to think hip flexors, we've got to think hip rotators, we've got to think adductors, we've got to think hamstrings. We've got to think about that whole spectrum, not just any one individual position. If you get those hips, if you get to the point now where your hips can move, obviously you're going to be able to swing the club much better because you're going to be able to, again, rotate that pelvis against the fixed femur. So, Michael Boyle, Mike Boyle Strength and Conditioning for Golf Digest.